It's argued which engines actually won the Second World War. But LNER ists would implore you to think that it was the Gresley V2s. And that's actually not such a bad thing. You can think of them as A3s, but a bit smaller, a bit shorter, and with a wheel set stolen off the front bogey. They were built as mixed traffic engines and found a niche on express freights, particularly on the fish trains from Aberdeen to London. Introduced in 1936, the class totaled 184 engines within eight years, and during testing, one of them was believed to have clocked 101.5 miles an hour. Useful, therefore, when transporting wartime supplies. They did have their shortcomings, though. The front bogey was a bit sensitive over bad track, so it tended to come off. And the cylinders were all cast as one unit, so if one was knackered, the whole block had to be thrown away. But in time, most of these niggles were surpassed, for the most part, and even when Thompson's B1s came along, the V2s were never really replaced, eventually being withdrawn between 1962 and 66. The prototype Green Arrow, named after a fish train, isn't that flattering, was intended for display in a municipal museum near Leicester. But this was demolished before the engine could move in, by which point the National Railway Museum in York was being planned out. So the engine was placed in the National Collection in November 1971. There may be other engines out there which are more internationally recognised, but in an age where LNER classes have thinned out to one survivor, Green Arrow stands out as Gresley's finest. At least, as far as those blokes at the Bash Bash are concerned.